What's up everybody? Welcome back to How I Did It the Garage. So, put some new wheels on your truck. Maybe you got the Carolina piss going on. Maybe you got some big drag tires on there. Maybe you just upgraded whatever, right? I put 22s on here and the computer it's programmed for 16 inch tires because I had the iRock software off the 86 Camaro. So now the transmission is not shifting right. So whenever you do that, your computer is programmed to shift with those tires and the gear ratios and it does make a difference if your computer's programmed right for your tire size it's gonna you're gonna have a better shift point smoother it's just gonna it's better it's gonna be better trust me i'm gonna show you how to do it so at this point i'm gonna do a little bit of talking if you want to get straight to how to do it the time will be right here or maybe here or there all right so for those who follow the channel i might have watched the channel follow the channel because of the nova those who don't know i got a nova and it uh it's gonna be a drag car but i'm not gonna restore it but i still want to get all the rust off of it and to me i can't really do that out here in the open because you just can't tear apart a car out here and lay it everywhere and expect it not to get rusty you just can't do that so like i showed in my other video i have a bunch of wood in my garage right now taking up tons of space it's a damn wreck in there so i want to expand onto it it's gonna be 28 by 22 i think i'm not sure exactly how i'm gonna go about it of course it's gonna be the cheapest way i don't mind doing work myself first step is to get these stumps grinded up because that's right where it's going to be uh while i'm at of course go ahead and get that one out of the way um, i'm gonna have to do some back filling right here uh, up there is pretty level i'm gonna have to dig up from there add back there i'm gonna be doing all this myself so in the future you want to know how to do something like this or figure out how not to do it either way follow the channel so to this you're gonna need a couple things you're gonna need hp tuners because that's what i'm gonna show you on this is what i have you need a laptop you need the thing that you're changing the speed on obd2 port you're gonna go in the obd2 port cord to sync with it cool thing is when i was at ls fest they uh hp tuners was giving away these flash drives so uh when i bought this hp tuner kits it came in one of these but it's inside so i'm gonna take advantage of this because it was in the cup holder kind of neat excuse the trash it's uh it's kind of messy so while it's loading up or whatnot um i did have it where it was close to the right speed i don't think i had the gear i don't think i had the gear ratio right i have it in here i think it's a 410 i think it's actually like a 49 maybe i'm not sure but uh right now with the 22s on here it is uh, about 15 to 20 miles off, which is a, a big difference. So I don't want to get a speeding ticket, so I want to get it corrected. Plus, I like to know how fast I'm going. I don't like using GPS stuff all the time. I'd rather just have my dash working. Right? Exactly. So here we are. Uh, about a year since I've done my last read on this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reopen it up and resave it because it might have done did some self-learning or I don't know how all of it works exactly. So... Go to read vehicle. Right now it's reading it. Got the key on. Now that it read it, it comes up with this little uh, option for you to save it. We are going to save it as... I'm just going to put the date and put 16 inch wheels because that's the simplest that I can put it. Now you got the original save. Um, make sure that it is popped up here, what you did save. Alright, so I totally forgot how to do this. So I had to get get on youtube and watch somebody else i'll put their name right here i'll also put the link to their video below um he does it real quick and simple and sweet but i'm already committed to making this video so i'm gonna go forward with it uh, so we'll go to tools first go to unit conversion and then you can type in your tire size which mine is a 245 30 by 22 which comes to a tire height of 27.8. What that means, I have no idea. So, but that's the size you need to put into the uh, tire editor. So now we'll go to edit, open up gear tire wizard, and uh, that's what it was set at before. It was set at uh, 23.990 for my 16s, and I had the gear ratio as a 410. I'm not sure exactly the gear ratio, so I'm going to put it back as 410 because it was pretty close. I might have just had the tire size wrong. Uh, so 
1.10 for the gear ratio and the tire size you just come over here and get that so it'll be 27.8 like the guy in the other video said pretty common sense and troubleshooting reload this back up drive it get your gps out see if it's accurate and if it's not accurate adjust your tire size by point two three or four give or take to get it where it's correct so now that that's done uh he also mentioned that uh, if you already got your transmission tuned you don't want to do scale transmission parameters so we're going to unclick that and just do it where it adjusts the speedometer calibration and we're going to click adjust adjust complete okay and that is done then we can go to speedo and what that change you'll see here highlighted in pink it changed the vss pulse per um, whatever a minute a second or whatever it is probably a second it's like hertz then uh and it changed the trans revolution per mile so now since that is adjusted you just re-upload it which will be this right here right vehicle we're going to ride it of course at this time is where you buy the credits for your vehicle which i've already bought so i don't have to do that let it let it do its thing motor's making noises now so everything's reset and complete and rope to the vehicle so it's right complete all right well Working a lot better now. I think it works better now than it did before.